Hello, Pastor Doug, back again with another Bible Brief. Today, I want to ask you a simple question. What is the last verse in your Bible's book of Esther? In Esther chapter 10, verse 3, and I use the New American Standard as my favorite English translation, it talks about Mordecai and it says, one who sought the good of his people and the one who spoke for the welfare of his whole nation. But if you go read this Bible, this Dewey Rames Bible, it keeps on going. There's verse 4, then Mordecai said, God hath done these things. I remember a dream that I saw, which signify the same things, and nothing therefore hath failed. And it goes on not just for a few more verses, it goes on for a few more chapters. What's going on here? Why are there more verses in this Bible, more chapters in this Bible than in this one? Well, this edition is actually a whole different book. It's called Bell and the Dragon, and it's part of what's called the Apocrypha. These are Jewish writings that get translated into Greek that the Jews didn't think were canonical. In other words, not officially part of the Bible, but they were general religious read, uh, writings that could be helpful, but they don't have the authority of Scripture. And so in the Jewish Bible, the Tanakh, Esther ends in 10.3. And the Protestants follow this tradition. The Roman Catholics, following a Greek tradition, leave these things in the Bible and think and think the Apocrypha is the is also the official word of God. You see this though in the Stewy Rames Bible again, Roman Catholic translation, very famous English Roman Catholic translation, and it reads the rest of the chapters of the Book of Esther, which are found neither in the Hebrew nor in the Aramaic. These are the two ancient languages of the Old Testament, the original languages. Uh, Hebrew is like 98% or 99% of the Old Testament, but there are sections that are in Aramaic. Very similar languages, by the way. And so the Roman Catholic tradition tacks this on. One of the reasons they probably tack this on is that the book of Esther, interestingly enough, never directly references God. Now, he doesn't deny the existence of God. These are Jews. They clearly believe in the Almighty, and they're religious Jews. But there's no direct reference to God. Uh, the word God or Lord is not used in Esther, yet it is very much used in this Bell and the Dragon. And I think for maybe just cultural reasons or desire to include it, it's tacked on. It shouldn't be because it's not in the original. And again, for the ancient Jews and for Protestants following the Jewish tradition, they go along with this. But if you ever run into a Bible and there's Esther chapter 10, verse 4, you do not have a Jewish Bible. You do not have a Protestant Bible. You have a Roman Catholic Bible. Well, I hope that helps. And as always, Christ's grace and peace to you all. Amen.